Hello. Today I'm excited to present to you something that I've been looking forward to showing you for many, many years. It's taken a lot of searching and Benoit Marge and Ambine was able to finally find for me a set of the original 1944 Larmat Atlas of Champagne maps. This is the original folio that they came in, seven maps and one chart. The PDFs that you'll find online have been um, scanned in a roller scanner and are a pretty good copy. One thing that you'll notice when looking at the maps is that there are red areas and these are the areas that Moet owned vines in in 1944 and one of the conditions that they made for me to share these maps with you is to remind you that their vineyard ownership has changed a lot obviously over the last 60 years and isn't isn't the same as what's on the map now but rather reflected what they did own at that time the maps include really really nice details including vineyard sites in the three main areas of the Marne the, the Grand Valley of the Marne the Montan de Rems and the Cote de Blanc. I had some printed up after having had them scanned for more general use and I've got them right here. Um, this is my map, my overall map of Champagne. There's also a very detailed map including vineyard sites of the Valley of the Marne a detailed map of the Cote de Blanc and a very detailed map here of the Montan de Rems including Bouzy where Benoit Marguet himself is from, the gentleman that finally found these for me. My originals I'm eventually going to have framed but the these maps are now all available on our website for you to download and look at on the computer or if you want to go and have them printed out to have them foam boarded and laminated the way that I did was a little bit expensive um, but totally worth it to me so if you'd like to do that I welcome you to do it um, you can find sites on here like the Belvoir the, you can find the Clos de Manille, you can find all of the famous sites, the Gloss, everything that you could um, you could hope to look at, they're all there on these maps, and um, I'm so happy to finally be able to share some good cartography of Champagne with you since it's one of the hardest things to find.